NASA is headed back to the moon tonight. The space agency will launch a small unmanned craft aboard a rocket bound for the lunar surface. The goal, to solve a mystery more than 40 years old. CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Good morning. Morning. So what is it, in fact, that they're, why are they doing this? Well, the countdown has begun. At 1130 tonight, you can go outside and actually watch this launch from the comfort of your doorstep. This is historic. We're launching it from Virginia, not Florida. It's going to travel over the northeast. And so tonight, go outside, look southeast, and you'll see a speck of light going over the horizon. It's not a flying saucer. It's not a UFO. It is the Lighty Space Probe, which will solve this old mystery of this glow on the moon. And what's the mystery? Just before dawn on the moon, our astronauts saw this glow that lit up the sky. It shouldn't be there. The moon has, quote, no atmosphere, so it must be dust of some sort. But that could interfere with a, a man's uh, permanent space presence on the moon if we have a station there. And so we have to know more about the atmosphere and the dust. So this probe is going to skim the moon at a distance of about 30 miles, skim the moon, and give us the latest information about the dust, the atmosphere, hopefully in preparation for a permanent presence on the moon one day. So after this moon skimming, <laughs> what might scientists in the future learn? Well, we'll learn about, for example, the other planets, uh, Mercury and the asteroids, because that's one of the goals of NASA, to go well, to the asteroids, something about go this to Mars. Dust. There's all these myths about the, the, the dust from the moon could help cure cancer or other things. What about that? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think they're just old wives' tales basically. We've learned most of what we can learn from the moon? Uh, no, uh, people think that we know everything about the moon, but actually we know very little about the moon. We've only landed there a few times in a few selected spots. We don't know how thick it is. We don't know the density. And if we're going to have a permanent presence on the moon, we're going to have to know a lot more about the surface. When will we have a permanent presence on the moon? Well, we don't know for sure. However, we're going to get a shot in the arm in 2025 when the Chinese put the Chinese flag on the moon. We may have a Sputnik moment uh, yeah. at that point. And that, of course, will, will spur interest in the moon once again. So NASA, I think, is covering its back. It wants to go to Mars, but it can't totally lose interest in the moon because the Chinese, the Indians, and the Japanese have also said that they're going to go to the moon, too. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Michio mm -hmm. Kaku.